Hey, what is going on? I am out here on a hike, and today we are hiking through Wheeler Canyon. And uh, we got a lot to talk about. So, back behind me, my new Adventure Mobile 1994 Suzuki Carry. It's hopefully going to take me to a lot of different adventures, but for now, we're going to be hiking. So I have a few missions to accomplish on this hike. One of them is breaking in new hiking boots. We'll get more into that in just a second. The other is I think I have to hike like five and a half miles today. And I say have to because my buddy nudged me into joining a 100 mile challenge. Now it's through the company Outdoor Vitals. Some of you might be familiar with them, but they do a, 100 mile challenge where they challenge people between July and September to get out and hunt, hike 100 miles. And you can do it two ways. One, you can do it through all in one trip. So a multi-day backpacking trip. And the other is stacked, which is the one that I'll have to do. But to count it, you have to spend the night, at least one night on the trail and so you can do several of those consecutively and where I work a full schedule that's the one that I'm gonna have to do so I got some new hiking boots but I also got a new rain jacket and that's because my wife and I are actually going to Iceland in three days so I got to make sure these new boots are broken in and my jacket is waterproof and stopped raining it's actually turning into a pre pretty beautiful day but I figured today would be a, a good day to test this especially where we're finally getting into warmer temperatures I think that's the last cold snap before we start to see summer and of course we're prolonging it by enjoying 40 degree rain and wind in Iceland I don't know how much I'll document there but I'd love to put together a video for the channel so at least there's that you can see Wheeler Creek down there just raging all the spring runoff this is nothing like it was last year last year we had some flooding but this year it's pretty typical we had a good winter as far as snowfall goes but I hear our summer is supposed to be pretty dry which I'm not looking forward to this weather right here this is my ideal weather cool snail shells I saw as I was putting away my drone. So this hike is, uh, I don't know, like four and a half miles out and back. And I mentioned that I had to do five and a half miles. So what it is, is we have Wheeler Canyon, which we're on, and then you can do a loop around Icebox Canyon and then back, and that's your four and a half miles. But you can also hike this through out into the old Snow Basin Road parking lot. So I think instead of doing like a lollipop, I'll do a skewer. So straight around, out, and then back around. We'll see what that adds up to. I am tracking this. This trail, pretty easy. I think I'm only gonna gain like 800 feet at the highest point. My dad said that this used to be a dirt road up through here and you can totally see it, but it's closed off now. Oh cool. We got a little chair. Take a little breather on that stone. Look at that perfect little Christmas tree. Now normally I'd say this trail's pretty busy. I've only passed three people. But Today's the day to do it, where it's wet, it's not muddy, so that's good. I don't want to go in the mud, not only for your sake, but for the trail's sake. So, picked a good time to do this one. I generally like to kind of find my own hikes and adventures. If you're new around here, I like to search for 
mines and old relics. So this is kind of how I got really started on this channel. I've actually had this channel since September of 2006. And if I only knew then what I know now, this channel would be a lot bigger, but that's not what it's all about. Let's check this out down here. That's cool, an old stone and concrete bridge. Anyway, in about 2019, I started doing hikes. And what's cool is in my local community, I've actually bumped into a few dozen people that have watched this channel and either have enjoyed the same hikes or said that it's inspired them to do more hikes. And that's why I started doing this. And so that's why I felt like I should probably say yes to this 100 mile challenge. The uh, most I've done, I, like overnight, is like 36. I was up in Alaska into the Yukon Territory. It's called the Chilkoot Trail. And I think that that's actually what kind of sparked my interest in finding old trails and old history. I was doing the Chilkoot. Now I'm just rambling. But it just feels good to be back out here. I guess what I'm getting at is hopefully we'll see more outdoor adventures as the summer goes on because I'm committed to this thing. And maybe it'd be fun to do like a documentary of one of our longer hikes. Overnighters, it's all about like the ultralight stuff, which I don't have gear for. I have backpacking gear, but didn't really get into the ultralight scene like my friend is, so gotta accumulate. Right now it's just getting conditioned and back into it. Fun fact, I actually proposed my wife on that bridge 10 years ago in February, and now we're gonna cross it. So, yeah, we got Icebox, Main Wheeler Canyon Trail, Art Nord. So yeah, we'll uh, cut down this way and do the lollipop. So this is more of a hiking trail. I mean, you can bike this obviously, but Wheeler is really nice for easy mountain biking. Crazy how time flies. You can see the confluence of two creeks here. And uh, yeah, this is a really pretty area. Just right outside Ogden too. Super nice. Well, uh, the rain started. I'm gonna put the electronics away for a little bit. It looks like it should just pass through, but I get to test out my raincoat. I'm on my Osmo pocket, so it doesn't have like the waterproof capabilities that my Osmo Action does. So yeah, I'll uh, put this away for a little bit and get back with you when things dry out. Okay, so we're coming up and out of Icebox Canyon, and you can probably see, let me zoom in, you might be able to see back up in there. It's a little bright, there we go. That's a uh, snow basin area. Still a lot of snow up on those mountains. But it's still raining, it's like mist right now, so not too bad. Not making great time either, you know. 
where you stop and film and smell the roses. Like, look at this. Like, uh, that probably doesn't look too spectacular to you, but it's just like a cool rock formation up there. I wish I had to drive right now to climb up there. See what it's all about. It's just beautiful down in here. Still got some old growth. A lot of this was cut out of here for the railroad and obviously to build houses, but it's nice to see old big trees because a lot of them aren't around here anymore. I actually did a little adventure this winter about that, following up an old like ravine that had been worn out by the pioneers and railroad workers hauling logs down off the mountainside. I went up to see if I could find some old stumps. I'll have to watch the video to see if I did. An interesting structure up here. <laughs> it looks bigger from further away. I totally remember this. It's a bridge because I've done this hike before. But like, it's tall. That's my arm straight out and that's the supports on either side. They probably did that for bikers. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh yeah. Well, up here in a little bit, it's gonna open up into a meadow and then we'll be on the back side of where I, the direction I came. And then uh, we should be almost to a turnaround point. There's a nice view of the valley that we just came up. So Icebox Canyon, Art Nord Trail, also call that Wheeler Canyon. That's just me though. But yeah, we're about to complete the loop. There's a sign up here. Man, as soon as I pulled out this camera, it just starts raining a little bit more. Look how pretty this is. We've got some green grass coming through after a long winter. Let's see, which way do I wanna go? Art Nord, I believe, takes us back. Junction to Wheeler Creek Middle Fork. I'm not gonna go up to the Snow Basin Trailhead. Let me see a map. So I'm doing a section of trail that I've never done before and probably wouldn't have ever done if I didn't need to tack on a mile or so. But this should have us top out on Old Snow Basin Road. Now this was the old way to get up to Snow Basin, hence the name, uh, but now it's shut down. But it's a great road for road biking and not having to worry about traffic. They don't maintain the road, so you gotta be careful with that but it is still in decent condition for that. But this is worth mentioning. I have a friend who started a YouTube channel last year and it's starting to grow. And he is actually going to be documenting what's called the Everest Challenge. Now, I'll turn it over to him to explain to you what the Everest Challenge is. Yo, what's up guys, Chase here. As Tim has mentioned, I'm gonna be attempting the Everesting Challenge. What is Everesting? Everesting is essentially hill repeats on one single hill until I have reached the elevation of Mount Everest, which is 29,029 feet. Um, I'm looking to do it on Old Snow Basin Road. It's gonna be about 194 miles in total. I'm trying to do it in 18 hours and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Super interesting, right? So be sure to uh, subscribe to his channel to follow along his journey to be able to pull that off. But yeah, I bring that up because I'm hiking over to Old Snow Basin Road right now. Blank sign. I don't know if it's supposed to go there. But this is our turnaround point. But yeah, that's Old Snow Basin Road. This used to be the way to get up to Snow Basin. Looks like there's a place to hitch your horses. But yeah, we'll turn around here and head back. Despite the rain, this has been a super beautiful hike. Hopefully I haven't been talking too much. It's just been such a long time 
since I've done one of these hiking videos. So like I said, I had a lot to talk about. And the gear I'm testing out, this jacket, my boots, my feet are warm, my body's dry. My camera is dry when I put it in the jacket. So, so far so good. But this should be the perfect turnaround point and get me the miles that I need. So I'll make my way back down towards the mini truck. Look how beautiful it is up here. This is pretty amazing. Maybe I'll get the drone out again. I can see a sea of alpine green Something that will stay with me Sky is wrapped in blue Wish that I could share with you Like a photograph when times are good When a flower begins to bloom Life never felt so good. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. I'm going to get on the Wheeler Creek Trail to complete the lollipop, but it has turned into a really nice day. So happy about that. Got the rain I needed, and now I'm drying out. This is great. Uh, let's see, how far have I gone? Four miles. So, just have a mile and a half left to go to meet my goal, but I think I have longer than that to get home. Look how pretty that is behind me. That's Snow Basin Ski Resort. They had the Olympics there back in 2002, and they're eyeing it again for the Olympics in like 2034, 2030, I don't know. Anyway, that'd be crazy to have it here twice. I didn't live in Utah then, but I came down, so I definitely remember it. Check it out there, here comes a biker on Old Snow Basin Road. Looks like an e-bike. either Suron or Teleri, I can't tell from here. Also, the lens is a little foggy because some moisture got in there. Not stoked on that. So it might be a little blurry and out of focus. Hopefully that'll clear up soon. My mic probably isn't picking it up, but you can hear frogs croaking down along the creek there. It's definitely springtime. It's a little more delayed up here than it is down where I live, but we are definitely close. So I'm up here on the trail. I need to get down there. I almost wonder if I didn't need to do that detour because that was a parking lot. I think I talked about it at the top of this video that I was gonna try to get to, to complete the extra mileage that I needed. And I thought I was closer back there when I detoured off on that bike trail, but it doesn't matter. We're just making our way down this hill and then we'll be back down into Wheeler Canyon and cruising home. The boots feel great. I am getting a couple of hot spots in them. Uh, it feels like I do need to tighten them up a little bit, so I might just tie them. But this is a good break in walk for them, so I'm not hurting in Iceland, although there will be plenty of cold streams to soak my feet in if they hurt. Yeah, we're making it down. This is, I just can't get over how nice it looks right now. There's a guy who rode his horses down. I don't know if you can see him back there. I didn't want to film him. All right, we are almost to the last stretch home. I have gone 
over five miles. So I know I'll blast past my goal, which is nice. It's almost too hot for this jacket, but too lazy to take it off. All right, looks like it's saying got a mile and a half to go back. So here we go. Wheeler Canyon Trailhead. Here's some information kiosks. And we're on the final stretch. Look how nice of a day this turned out to be. Got horses down in the meadow. Clouds hitting the mountains there. Mount Ogden, Snow Basin over there to our left. And smooth sailing all the way back to the truck. And that stupid moisture on my lens is back. I have to throw this thing in some rice. Cause I'll stick around for a while if you don't get it dried out properly. But I think what's happening is there's a little fan in the back and it's just stirring that moisture up to the front where it's collecting on the glass. There's a nice breeze coming up this canyon drying everything out. So that's nice. But uh, yeah, we're on the other side now. We've done the complete loop. Well, not yet, because we haven't made it over to that bridge I was talking about where I proposed. But we're back on a trail that will look familiar from the start. And we got Wheeler Creek down there. I don't know which fork's which. That might be the middle fork. I don't know. Anyway, it all ends up in Ogden River. And we're headed downhill, so that's kind of nice. I might be closer to seven miles on this hike, which is good, because coming towards the start of the challenge, um, you have to really start putting in some miles each week. And I didn't get out and do any other hiking. Saturdays are kind of it for me. But yeah, so we spend like the next eight weeks or so getting conditioned. And you also choose what kind of hiker you are, advanced, moderate, or beginner. And me and my buddy chose the moderate category just because it had been a long winter. And uh, I put on a few extra pounds, so. But I knew I still had it in me to at least be a moderate hiker. So I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, not to be too gross, but that is moose droppings. And it was interesting because earlier on I was wondering if moose were up here. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't be because it's perfect habitat and I know there are moose, but I don't really see any moose tracks or anything uh, in some of those wetter areas. But now there's proof. It'd be fun to see a moose. It's been a while since I've seen one. Um, we used to see them all the time in Idaho. I always say, you know, they're a little bit more scary than anything else you'd come across unless some mountain lion with cubs was up here but yeah moose can be super territorial with their young calves but that would have been cool to see when there is moose droppings everywhere that's like the fifth pile who knows i could have walked right past one without even knowing it but we're getting close to the bridge and then that will all be familiar territory. Gone over six miles, so blew past my goal of five and a half, so that's good. And then I'm feeling great. Okay, yeah, here's the crossing right here. I thought I saw the trail going down to the river. There's the bridge right there. What's this? That doesn't give me any mileage, but we got the Wheeler Creek Trailhead. And we are on the home stretch, almost back to the mini truck. Nice little Christmas tree farm here. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. The mini truck, that is the best view after any hike, is your ride home. Just kidding, there's like a meme out there that says that. But yeah, we did it. We made it. And we went way past five and a half miles. According to my watch, we're gonna go about 7.2 miles. Let's see when we get there. So yeah, about 7.2 miles. And it took me three hours and 20 minutes. Definitely wasn't going for any sort of 
record there. I stopped quite a bit to do some filming. It just feels good to be out. This was a good trail, good uh, break-in trail for some equipment. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, there should be plenty more to come, especially as I try to do this 100 mile challenge. But if you liked it, you know what to do. Hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know if you uh, think I can do the 100 mile challenge. And of course, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Have a great rest of your day. Isn't it a beauty?